If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Hello there. Welcome up, ladies and gentlemen. What it up? This is Denzel B. Red signed off with you guys and girls. Today is the day I am very, very fully energetic, excited to be doing a reaction and seeing the anticipated TV show of Star Wars this year, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It has been since I was in my young teen years, 13 years old, I saw Revenge of the Sith in theaters, seeing Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor on the screen, and then growing up with the prequels and stuff like that. Really enjoy Revenge of the Sith out of the best of the prequels. But then, as sometimes we can think we were going to see them reunited again, but this is the opportunity in time, which the movie was first it's supposed to be a film, Obi-Wan Kenobi's life, but then they made it to a TV show, which is fine because TV shows takes a lot of full development and all that stuff. But I am very excited, and plus I met Hayden Christensen in New York Comic Con, which was another great fan fave moment, stuff like that. And now just seeing Ewan McGregor, them gonna be reunited in the show. I'm very excited about the show because I wanna see how Obi-Wan's been doing, what he has been up to in Tatooine. Uh, Cause we already saw a new hope in their OG trilogy that he's been watching Luke and with his aunt and uncle and all that stuff and hiding from the Empire and stuff like that. But during this 10 year reign after Revenge of the Sith, how is Obi-Wan dealing with this with the Inquisitors? And hopefully this show, I hope this show is is gonna be very good. It's stuff like that. I, I want it to be a very great show. Um, and my, my most anticipated moment to see in this show and this few further episodes furthermore is to see Darth Vader and Obi-Wan again. Just to see that his former princess become this monster and to see that Anakin Skywalker is alive. Somehow it's a way. I just can't wait. So tune in every Friday week to see my reactions to his Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. And yeah, I'm so anticipated. You ready? You ready, Obi-Wan? I'm gonna see what you do in your life story, bro. All right, less talking and more reactions. Y'all ready? Cool. Hello there. Action! Woo! Oh, shoot. Get to see the younglings. Doing a little Force Broadway, Star Wars off Broadway Force thing. Okay. Oh, shoot. Order 66. Okay, I was not expecting this intro. Beautiful. Wow, look at that shot. Devastating and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> That's a beautiful shot. The Inquisitors! His head looked more better than it did in the trailer. Because his head looked like a big fat dome. Kind of looked weird, but it looked like they course corrected somehow. Do you know the key to hunting the Jedi, friend? Is his patience. Oh, Exposed! Dave. Prepare him for interrogation. You're wasting your time, you know that, right? Reckless. What is that to scrap? Scraps are all we have left. Then we should be hunting bigger prey. He is not yours to find. We are past this, third sister. I will not warn you again. So she has a um, personal connections with Mr. Obi-Wan. It's so great. It's so great to see Sir Ewan McGregor back again, man. <laughs> That's my Obi-Wan growing up. Sir Alec Guinness, the OG always, but Ewan McGregor, great Obi-Wan, great to see him. Because in um, A New Hope, well, it might build up into that, he lives into that big igloo hut-like thing. So his first home was in a cave. Gives me a um the food creating thing. Gives me the Force Awakens vibe when Ray was making her little muffin or bagel bread. Days 
No lees. I'll give you. I'll give you fifty. Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? <laughs> That's the um toy ship thing that Luke was flying in the New Hope. This is old Jedi belt. A Jedi. Oh, don't count on it. <laughs> well, thank you, Tika. Goodbye. <laughs> Babe, you must owe me one. Like that Obi Wan has been feeling PTSDs and being traumatized, and he feels like, like he said, in Revenge of Sith, I have failed you, Anakin. Master, I have a feeling that we're going to see Lim Neeson reprising Squire Gon Jin. I really hope so. There goes the hut. <laughs> Just like his dad. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> ah, okay, that explains. Luke got his little little spaceship thing that he was playing with for the New Hope. I thought I saw you in town, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think you'd survive. Oh, it's a Jedi. You're making some kind of mistake. I'm sorry, my name is Nari. Walk into the middle of the desert and bury it in the ground. Stay hidden. The fight is done. We lost. What happened to you? Sense of loss. Of, of, of hopelessness. It's little Princess Leia! find it amusing, your highness. Oh. <laughs> She's either in the cellar, in the kitchen, or in the woods. She's a little rebel, that one is. <laughs> okay. Get to explore little Princess Leia. You had to do this today? Do what? Down. <laughs> Little rebel she is, yes! Mm. <laughs> it's not like anyone would miss me if I wasn't there. I'd miss you. All I ever do is wave. I would do more <laughs> She was a slick one. Uh oh, who's this? This is like Obi-Wan's Mondays. <laughs> he needs to see that. There's a whole galaxy out there. I'm asking you to leave us alone, Ben. I mean it. A responsibility, Owen. Well, I'm his uncle. We talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? Oh. Anakin is dead, Ben. And I won't let you make the same mistake twice. So leave him on the farm with his family where he belongs. Dang, that hurt. <gasps> You. There is no point in protecting them. She's more they like an aggressive, very aggressive inquisitor. Remember anything? Rewards will be given. This is intense. <laughs> Stand down. Next time. Oh, and Pete and his moisture evaporator. <laughs> it scared the best out of him. She has a real, real personal grudge with Obi-Wan. Why is that? Bird, sister. You go too far. This is very good. Because we get to explore the life story of um, Luke and his young childhood and his sister Leia. 
and we get to explore more of Alderaan. And Alderaan do play a big little role with Kenobi, because Leia does, I guess, connect with Obi-Wan. Bail Organa! Anything good today? A trade This is really great. I I I love this. Lining some pockets. There are still some issues that we need to address: slave labor, taxation of the outer world. I didn't come here to end slavery, Bill. I came to eat your food. <laughs> is that three PO? You know the difference between you and me, cousin. I know things. You know, my father says they never let you leave this planet. They don't want anybody to know about you because you're not one of us. You're not even a real Organa. Aw. You want him to like you so you repeat what he says, even though you don't really know what it means. You think being like him will make people frightened of you, but really, you're the one who's scared. You've never made one decision for yourself in your entire life, and you never will. <laughs> I may not have seen much, cousin, but I can see that. <laughs> Mic drop, Leia. <laughs> this is your future, Leia. In a few years, you'll be off to university, then junior senate. Senate's boring. It's people in itchy clothes arguing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, father. <laughs> Very I'll good. Wait for you downstairs. Very good in depth between the relation between Leia and, and her father. I'm loving it. Who is this cat? Hello, princess. Run, Leia, run! Oh my god, they kidnapped Leia? Obi Wan has used that in years, ten years. If Leia is discovered, I can't leave here, Bale. My duty is to the boy. What your duty to his sister? Hmm. So Obi Wan has to take has to leave Tatooine. So he he so he protected Leia and Luke, which makes sense if he makes that choice. Oh, that's the Jedi they found. The young Jedi Padawan kid. Ooh, who is this? She's headed for Dayu. Oh. He should not have come. For her. One last fight. That's right, Obi-Wan. Gotta get that lightsaber, man. Gotta get that lightsaber. That's gonna sell toys for kids. <laughs> Let's see that OG lightsaber. He fought beside her father during the war. Uh, He'll come. She knows. He won't be able to help it. So he protected both children during this time. See some lightsaber actions. Very good. Very good. Great start. Great start. Now, let us talk. Great start from the first TV show, Obi Wan Kenobi Part 1. Very great start. Very great to see the intro of Order 66. Um, see more details with the Jedi, the younglings, or the Potter ones during that time. And it seems that throughout that scene, which was greatly shot, I must add, um, the, the, the young black um, youngling, I'm assuming that has to be, um, if I'm saying her name right, Rivera or Rivera, the third sister inquisitor. Um, she seems to have like a big grudge 
against Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I'm wondering what that grudge is and stuff like that. Um, but overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the third sister Inquisitor, um, Raver. She's pretty good. She's very aggressive, I must say. Um, seems like the other Inquisitors are seem to be annoyed by her because she always seems to be, you know, like dark side, impatient, you know. Like one of them former princes, like she just started Dark Side and she's the very impatient one. Like she's very hot headed, you know, she's very desperate to kill this Kenobi. But I want to know why and why she really want to do that. Um, seeing Ewan McGregor again is, is, is such a great prequel, uh, um, sensational to see him again and stuff like that. Obi Wan just working in a random fish market, you know, he's just out there surviving and stuff like that. Um, then seeing um, Bail Organa and what I really did not expect for this TV show um, was to see more of Alderaan. We're, explaining, we're exploring the, the world of Alderaan and seeing Little Princess Leia, which I was not anticipating in the show because I thought we were going to explore more about you know Obi-Wan watching Luke and then we might see a little bit of Luke and stuff like that. Maybe further more in the episodes we might see. But um, yeah, but the little girl who played Leia, she was not annoying. She was just cute and precious, and she and Leia was very rebellious, as you can see, <laughs> through her uh, child youth days and stuff like that. And then seeing Jimmy Smith, Bill Organa, and seeing how the Organa family is being raised on Alderaan before Alderaan, you know, spoiler alert, you never seen the old school um, the New Hope. It gets <sighs> blown into splitterings. But I really love how they did that to explore the world of both of the young Skywalkers, Leia and Luke, um, because we can see the more in depth and get into more relationship with Alderaan. Because, you know, when we see a new hope of Alderaan, we know that Alderaan is a peaceful planet. They have no weapons, as Leia says, and stuff like that. Because, you know, we, we felt bad for Leia at the time, but, you know, just seeing Obi-Wan blow screens, like, oh my God, a planet blew up. But now, in this episode, in this TV show, it explores more of that. Her family and, and her relationship with her father and everything. And now, I guess, when you watch this TV show, you get to feel the impact of it from A New, a new Hope or something like that. I really, I really love the exploitations of that. And seeing the bounce counters, I guess they're going after Leia, getting kidnapped. So I guess Leia, we're going to see a little more of Leia throughout the journey of this TV show. Um, and yeah, I was not expecting that. It was very good. Another thing that I love about did in this episode was exploring the traumatizations of um, Obi-Wan that, you know, he promises Master Qui-Gon and Yoda, mostly Qui-Gon, that he will train Anakin to be a full-fledged Jedi, that he's the chosen one, that he's going to kick the Sith's butt and all that stuff until we see Revenge of the Sith, he falls to the dark side and becomes his monster, which Obi-Wan is not aware of because they keep saying Anakin is dead. Even Owen says that. You're not gonna train my um, nephew because you know, like his dad, he died and he failed. He's not going through that trials again and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that was that was really really <laughs> a cold-hearted, <laughs> hard grip that old uncle always said um, that he trained his father, and then Obi Wan was like, oh my god. So I like how Obi Wan's going to his PTSD moments throughout the TV show. Um, um, and yeah, and then seeing another Jedi, it kind of gave me that Fallen Order. Um, vibe because you know the Inquisitors they're searching for Jedi over the planets they're searching you seen a Jedi have you seen a Jedi blah 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 blah, blah and all that other stuff and um, that one Jedi that was escaping you know very cool you know it's very cool moments so right then until he got hung and killed I guess when Obi-Wan see that it's just like okay I gotta do what I gotta do it's gonna be risky um, but um, a Jedi's gotta do what a Jedi's gotta do and it, it, the, the, the lightsaber burying in the sands gave me that Rise of Skywalker <laughs> vibe moment, um, which was a great hiding spot because you know when they, the Quizzer, the Stormtrooper, if they look for something, they get buried deep into the sand. Um, seeing Obi Wan's lightsaber again and seeing his um, Anakin Skywalker, which Anakin will mostly hate Obi Wan because his lightsaber is buried under the sands. Anakin don't like sand you know so um but it was the og lightsaber which i do have right here of course it has the same resemblance and uh yeah it was it was it was really great to see that because this is like a, a new hope um lightsaber that he gave to luke skywalker and stuff which i really glad that they which i am really glad that they went for that um very very great references very connected tiffany staying on course i love it 
Um, great start, great start. Wasn't bored, was very interested in stuff. Um, so I'm going to proceed now into part two because they released two episodes for his opening premiere and uh, see where this goes. And ladies and gentlemen, if it's your first time coming here to my channel, I nerd out about Star Wars. I'm a freaking Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars. We can nerd out. I will be talking about Star Wars throughout the rest of the week throughout my upcoming videos and stuff, Star Wars Celebration and more things for me to react and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, what are you guys and girls thoughts about this episode? Oh, my almost forgot. Yeah, my rating system I give this TV show. I give this first episode a so it just started so like a 8.9 out of 10 stars. 8.9 out of 10 I give this episode. It's a great start, great beginning and stuff like that and just seeing everything flowing and I just want to see where it's going to go next stuff like that. Alright, that wraps up for this reaction of uh, my video here. So what do you guys girls thoughts about the Obi-Wan Kenobi part 1 of the TV show? Did you like it? Did you feel like it's mad or could have been better? It just started so we're going to see where it's going to go. Comment below and let me know. Also, if you had enjoyed my reactions, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. More videos we posted each and every other week, especially about Star Wars. We're going to be talking about it throughout this whole week and I might be doing a live stream in the near future just nerding out about the show and going into more depth about it. So in the meantime, this is Denzel B. Ren, so I know, with a bang, hello there, ha <laughs> ha, woo!